we're not seeing growth, right, in our yeah. economy. And that basically, if you see that for two quarters in a row, boom, that means recession. So we're in a recession, but I do think that there, there's a high chance that it's going to get worse, right? That we're going to see more layoffs. We're already starting to see layoffs kind of speed up and um, inflation is still not in control. Like the Fed has not been able to control inflation. It's still out of control. Gas is still high. Food is still high. So I think it is going to be more painful before it finally corrects itself. So you need to be preparing right now right? Don't assume that just because you've been at a job for five years or 10 years that you're safe. You're like, oh no, I would never get laid off. They love me. I'm irreplaceable. Oh, that's the biggest mistake you can make. Don't ever think like that. Everybody's replaceable from the CEO all the way down. So you really want to be preparing right now. You should be stocking, you know, you should be putting away some cash. So minimum, minimum three months of expenses. I would raise that to six months um, or higher depending on what industry you work at. So if you work in an industry that's very volatile or it would be very difficult to find another job, you want you that you want that solution fund is what I call it instead of mm. emergency fund. I like to call it a solution fund. You want it to be even bulkier, right? Depending on your industry. So that's like the priority. The other one is if you have a little extra to throw on debt, this would be a good time to be throwing extra money on debt, especially credit card debt. Because as interest rates go up, because the Fed's been raising interest rates, that means credit card interest rates are going up. So if you're carrying a balance on your credit card, you're paying even more interest than you were a year ago. Right. So pay off right. debt ASAP. If you pay can. off debt as much as you can. Yeah. Yeah. And continue to contribute to your investment accounts as much as you can. Right. You're like, wow, so I'm supposed to save, pay off yeah, debt. Yeah, there's a lot there. <laughs> How much money do I have? Mm -hmm. It's a lot. It's a lot. And then live your life, right? And then right. it's a lot. Like it's it takes time to find a balance between all of these goals. And again, some things will take priority over others, right? Some like I think the emergency the emergency fund, the solution fund is the ultimate priority. So if that means that you have to pause other goals to build that, do that. Right. And then you can move on to like paying off debt, and also throwing some money in investments. I'm a big fan of doing both at the same time, investing and paying off debt. But again, if you want to focus on one versus the other, that's okay too. Like do what works for you, but those need to be like the priorities right now. And then you want to do anything you can to secure the job that you have, right? You want to make sure that things are good at work. You're ta you're communicating with your employer, think you're on good terms, um, you don't want to wait till like a year end review to know if you're doing a job. You should know like throughout the year if things are good and you want to be asking your manager like, you know, um, how, how's the company looking? Are there any plans to restructure? You know, you want to try to get a sense of what's going on. Keep those resumes fresh. Um, if you haven't freshened it up in a while, I would freshen it up. Um, and I would keep uh, your eye on job boards and things like that. You have to be prepared because you never know what might be coming. And if there's any way to, you know, start a side hustle and have some extra income coming in on the side, I would also encourage people to do that. I know that not everybody can because some people work 50, 60 hours a week and then they come home and then they have to take care of their kids. They're like, when am I supposed to do a side hustle? So I understand it's harder for some people, but if you're in a position where, you can get a side hustle off the ground and make some extra cash, this would be the time to do that.